Okay, where did I leave off at? Yeah, we're back. Hopefully that this is better because I am actually stationary uh, for a minute. So if I go mute, that's because I got a knock on the door and somebody may need to come in for um, some help or something today. But only just for a second, right? So I'm going to start it now because I'm um, sorry about the last live. For some reason, if I'm outside or something, getting air or just chilling or whatever, it's just bad interference and that really sucks. So now that I am stationary, hopefully it's not that bad. So welcome to the One Papu Show. And I just have just a, a little bit of rebuttal to state on, you know, some of the things of what I did here uh, as far as most of the things that is going on out there you man I, I i don't give two two craps about it i have to be perfectly honest um you know with you guys you know people um that we have seen out here on social media um uh, quite a few have done the most they have done the most the only thing that i can say about one papoose when it comes to this um mr Robert Sylvester Kelly's case that has been going on. Here's what I can say about that. I'm not distracted from it. No one can um, distract me from it at all. With all of these charades or uh, 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 um, shit, bullshit that they um, actually, you know, decided to do out here, uh, implement themselves, you know, in situations that quite a few of them just did not belong in period no matter what you know i i've watched a lot growing up you guys and there's where you know people have forgot sometimes uh, even though you you want to insert or you want to have you know a, a, a opposite or or um opinion for some things such as you know with uh, drunken Larry, um, it, you have to make a wise choice as far as to, you know, minding your business sometimes, you know, so he got looked at differently out here, but I left off talking about, you know, cousin, the cuzzo, whatever he is over there, which I don't care. I don't care if he's an uncle, brother, niece, nephew. I it just don't, I don't care. I don't really put a lot of emphasis or thought process into whether if he is related. I don't care how many pictures he can post up alongside to make himself appear that the relationship is there or that I look like him. Can't you guys tell? All of that stuff aligns with a uh, 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 um, um, mental thought processing. If people would put the watermelon in front of you and you know you love watermelon and the taste of it then guess what you'll be able to identify with that and without and when a person tells you that oh my god this watermelon is so delicious without you even tasting it you're going to agree with it because you love watermelon and that's just that you know i'm i'm not that simple like that you know no i have to taste the freaking watermelon before you tell me that oh, oh just eat it it's good I, you know, a picture can paint a thousand words. It's just how you choose to um, digest it, you know, consume it and digest it. That's that's just that, you know. So, um, yeah, and we hear otherwise out there. You're right, T. Lynn. I see Chuck No Joke got a scheduled digest coming up here at 5 o'clock, you know. I wonder if uh, uh, the Booker Boy going to be over there still screaming about his $300 and he going to continue to try to F that boy up and all of that stuff. I have ice strawberries and ice. Hey, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. So it doesn't take number one for me. If you say that you are of relations, right? And you have a thousand people coming out here saying, well, no, you're not. No, you're not. But if you say you are, I can't even see how is it that a thousand people can apply pressure to someone that says that they stand 
on, you know, that they stand on their truth. If that's, you can't get me to argue and fight or, 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 or debate or anything with any of you guys. If I said that I am relations to whatever, whatever, that is what it is. And that's the end of the whole goddamn topic. It's over with. But I, I sat just like him and watched about what, two, three years of, of him really trying to press the issue about it. When in fact, it wasn't important. Period. It was totally freaking irrelevant. Period. He wasn't the one that got the handcuffs put on him. He's not the one that put all of this music out for people to buy to help financially support Mr. Kelly. He wasn't the one that was uh, 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 that paid and uh, for these attorneys, allegedly. I don't know that to be true, but allegedly. So I could not understand, you know, and then again, I can because it's entertainment purposes only. Like why so much interest was put into a person of uh, someone who who desperately was out here pleading their relations when who gives a who the, the the person that needed all of the attention and above and then some was mr kelly all i saw was a lot of these people take predominantly the attention off of mr kelly from his supporters because they can tell the story, they can read you the paper, but yet then in the middle of the paper, they turn the paperwork to a whole nother narrative about themselves. Who gives a fuck about you? You, you know what I'm saying to that level now? You know, if you like that person, then that's fine and dandy. But I, Juan Papoos didn't come out here to 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 get to know or like and, and, and thumb you up and, oh, you the man, you the shit. Yes, we can do that. Uh, you know, a lot of people have, and, and it's sad to see, but that's just how our or many cultures do. You know, everybody needs a leader. And if the leader sounds good, that's, you know, that's where we're going. And you wait for it and you wait for it before you even know it. You don't even realize that your ass is sitting and rooting on the person that is on the screen and not the person that is locked up. I can't understand that. I can't understand that. Nobody wants to sit over there and be like, well, tell us more. Okay, well, tell us more. Oh, well, then again, he's going to tell you more of what you want to hear. Or what you want to hear, you didn't hear Valentine's Day, you didn't hear Veterans Day, you didn't hear Thanksgiving, you didn't hear Memorial, you didn't hear them all, you didn't hear them all, heard them all. But let's talk about. Oh shit! Hold on, y'all. Hello. Where you going? For a little while. All right. Okay. All right. Bye bye. So let's let's talk about intricacies, right? Because this is what he tells you. This is his reason. And like I say, this ain't no attack. This is just me telling you just what I am identifying his story and how I, I have an opinion about it. I have a narrative about it. I have you, shit. My hand is raised up period, on my channel to myself. And sometimes if you talk it out loud, your answers will come right back to you out loud. It's when you hold them inside. It's normally when you don't usually get an answer or give you any clear mental understanding about what's going on, why it was said, when it was said, what it was said, all of the freaking five W's that I just been saying since I've been out here. But you spoke on intricacy, right? You sense that I go over to Drunken Larry because he can identify with the same way that I identify and we can have this logical, intellectual conversation on a panel with adults. That's what he says. Now, let's take this back to the drawing board. If you take it back to the drawing board, at the top of your paper, you should have Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly incarcerated. Such and such a day, on this such and such a day, Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, he was found guilty. Well, why was he found guilty? Because the prosecution brought along a whole bunch of allegations about a bunch of females and, and uh, having a... Um, 
uh, 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 that's his enterprise or using his females to establish a, a enterprise to make money or whatever to help his label fucking grow. And now go to the racketeering. It says in there, well, why was he found guilty? Because Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly established the, I mean, the, uh, 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 the, the enterprise and the racketeer about the, the racketeer, all these ladies putting this shit together. Enterprise. And well, now he has managers, bus drivers, this, that, uh, this or that, to help him do this and, and bring them in and write the, and give them numbers and do this. Last I checked, that's what all of that was about. No, you, no. You say, you see me video from Saturday. No, I got, you got it up on your page and I can go check it out. As soon as I get done ranting over here, uh, 312, I'll go check it out. So, um, yeah, that's what that was about. Now, since everybody know exactly what the headlines was for Mr. Cap, right? Now, everybody comes out and they get to looking around. Who did everybody find? Drunken Larry. What does Drunken Larry does? Drunken Larry comes on his screen, right? Yes, he sat up and he talked about all of the paperwork. And he's reading this. And he's reading that. And he did this. And he did that. But at the same time, now keep in mind, this is the cousin. This Okay, D, this is the cousin, right? You, you sit over on the lie, which... I'm trying to still make sense of it, and it's going into almost three and a half years later. Because I know, and I, I'm trying to paint the picture of all, for all of Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, real supporters, right? You sit on the live, and you agree to disagree according to what has been proposed in all of this paperwork. But yet then, you have another guy on the panel, goes by the name of Drunken Larry, who tells you in the same breath, with the same tongue, well, I, you know, I, got, I, I brought the bus drivers. I got this. I got that. You know, we, we sent in 100 devices or we wrote this and we did that and we did that. And last I checked, when a person says something in that form of fashion, that's a person that is talking against or have a pre-planned, premeditated plan to help prosecute or send in particular information that can help a prosecution put together, fathom up their, their affidavits, their storylines to uh, uh, intricating that uh, we're going to run this in the court of law because, uh, you know, it's been verified by, you know, the, 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 the drunk Larry guy on his channel. We got all that shit. And to sit here to watch a cousin. This is the part where, like, I guess it's not being consumed out here. Consumed. To sit right, you know, up there and you, uh, to have an agree or disagree and watch someone who claims that they have all of this information to do X, Y, and Z. That made it okay. See, this is how I would have looked, to be honest with you, because I'm, let me, let me come on live. This is how I would have looked at it, right? I would have looked at it. And I'm saying to myself, yeah, okay, uh-huh, and prosecutors, you know, you know, we kicking it, but no, I kind of disagree with that. Well, the law says this or that. Here's drunken, here's drunken Larry, right? But shit, nigga, we got all this, man. We sent this in. We knew the bus drivers. I can get in touch with this one. I had Azrael at the house. I did this. Now, let, now I'm jumping back into the Cousin Levi profile, right? Now I'm Cousin Levi. What? What did this nigga just say? So you would think that cousin Levi would be sitting up there saying like, well, what, what do you plan on doing uh, with all of that? What do you plan on doing with all of that? That's what I would have asked. That nigga, what? Wait, wait, what you did, what? Say what? Oh, I got to get away from you. Hold on. Oh, you plan, you finna send all this down to who? You, what, what, what? You, you know what I'm saying? You would think that at some case that that's how that type of um respond would have came right that that type you i, I was um huh what, what would you finna do with my cousin with all of that shit that this boy is sitting on the screen saying that he has it wouldn't have been no more 
goddamn intellectual, logical, goddamn information, the first thing that I want to make sure is that my cousin, listen here, it's this dude, I sit on his channel with him, and he says that he, he got the hundred devices and, and, and he flipped Azrael and he said that you, uh, uh, he, know, he, he, he got the bus drivers and he got the, this person to talk and this person to talk. I would have been forewarning my goddamn cousin, wait, uh, don't, don't talk to nobody. Don't do this. This, this guy's, but no, it didn't play out like that. And they sit over there and act like that they cannot understand what caused the volcano eruption of, of anger or bitterness towards, towards them. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute. They ain't do that shit at. You, you know what I'm saying? No. They all just stay in happy, la la go lucky land. Oh, you know, over there. How, you know, and now it's, well, I, you know, I don't want to see another nigga, another guy. I'm not going to say the N word. You know, locked up and this or this or that. And it's mighty funny how he got out. Well, my god darn uh, prediction about that is, well, damn, the, what, the letters and stuff that was written up, was it written up to help, help? Drunk Larry, a look, you know, better. That's just my opinion. You know, I don't know that to be true, but I'm just saying though. But they sit there and act as dumbfounded as 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 if you guys are not black people and you guys have not had a loved one or someone that's been incarcerated or that you guys are that freaking naive that you uh, apparently and abruptly don't know how the judicial system works. Like you guys don't understand that there is a process to all of this stuff, especially with Mr. Kelly's because it is so much. The paperwork can travel from here to Cancun got, or Africa, you name it. So it takes time. No, he was not going to walk in and walk back out because of the allegations that they put on him about a minor. We all listen to that. Now what you're listening to is feelings. You're listening to people in their feelings. If, if, this situation, which I know that I saw it. it, it wasn't none of my business. It wasn't none of my business at all. It wasn't my business. But when I'm sitting here and I watched Drunken Larry apparently have uh, uh, DJ's son over there, and then to find out that cousin or a cousin of a Levi has something to do with that along with uh, uh, a book. I'm, I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like this is, this is hideous. This is, this is, I'm not just like crazy. You, you understand what I'm saying? So now when I'm sitting here and you know, I'm listening to all of the new activity that just recently went on. Learning something about Scooby Doo is locked up. And and I jump over here to cause I got summoned, you know, oh well, check this out. Cause you just like how they don't uh, watch channels and subscribe to them and all of that stuff. The feelings are freaking mutual over here. Not subscribe to these people. None of them. So I'm sitting here. I'm like, well, okay, what's the link? Let me go check it out. And I look at it and all I see is a situation of a narration where it all just talks about him. He, he like that. I shit. Well, I did this and I did that. And I did this and I did that. And I told you people to watch and wait and see. I told you, you, you watch. Hey, uh, he, uh, Mr. Kelly is going to be out here soon. Well, if it is, if he, if he is, you can also give every bit of acknowledgement to his attorney, Jennifer Bonjean. And I'll tell you why, because can't nobody out here do the work that that woman and her team is out here or in her office or whatever doing for Mr. Kelly. These people are not writing up those paperwork for his freaking defense at all. None. Those people out here are not standing in a court of law to go up against the prosecution. None of them. Those people are not the people. Well, I won't say that they put some shit into discovery and all of that shit. So I don't know how everybody. I'm like, I, 
I'm, I'm like trying to understand. It's like, is this some freaking voodoo or or, 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 or angel dust in the in the black umbrella up over here or what? It's got to be. Some people just wants to be in the midst of the things, right? Other things. Now, it's okay to insert yourself as long as you're riding on the crab boat. You understand what I'm saying? As long as you're riding on the crab boat, oh, you're all good. But the minute that you're not on the crab boat with other people, yeah, you're you're this kind of person or you're that kind of person or you, you get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. The only illiterate and slow ass people that I see is the people that was uh, talk that was on that freaking uh, 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 live that I just watched er, this morning. That was it. You talking about slow. I'm going to tell you how slow it is. And it is what it is when I feel like talking about it. Because, you know, that's just the way it is. When I'm sitting here and I hear, you know, oh, you know, but I love him. You know, not, not, not my boy. Not my boy. The boy is in freaking jail. And, and somebody is still on their freaking live. Just talking, oh, not my boy. If it's so much your goddamn boy, get the hell off your live and take a flight and shoot your ass down to the MCC and see what the hell his bond is and put your goddamn money up for him. Now, that's your boy. Other than that, shut that goddamn wolf talking, selling a goddamn ticket bullshit up out of here. Now, I'm going to tell you again how slow these people are, right? The dude that's on the channel that says, you know, I impl implicating whether he has done this and he's the reason why Scooby-Doo is in jail, right? And the other person is insinuating how much that's my boy. And oh, no, but I tell you what. And one time that th that person fixed their, their mouth and be like, no, you wrong on that. No, you wrong on that. Scooby-Doo don't be doing that type of shit. You wrong on that. Didn't check him at all. Look at it like this. Kind of the same shit when the cousin is sitting on Drunken Larry show. He ain't really like, you know, questioning him about, dude, well, well what you finna do with that shit, right? Knowing that the shit that this boy is claiming that he have could have possibly, because I don't know it to be true gotten in the hands of the prosecutors to do whatever magical work that they, or courtroom work that they needed to do to prosecute Mr. Kelly. Keep that in mind. Now, turn the page and look at the other goddamn picture from the Pigs in the Blanket book. Look at it. There's a person on that live that is screaming how much, no, and I like that boy, you know, that's my boy, and, and, and spent a half of a fucking morning calling around to, to jail places to see well, where he is, right? Yeah, come on, y'all. That's the most phoniest ass shit. If, if you sitting up here with a person that can, it wouldn't have been nothing to... And his shit would have popped up, not asking questions about, well, where, and what's his, what's his middle, and what's his middle, name, and what's this, and what's that, and what's that. Ex come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, people. Come on. Put some salt on your popcorn so you can wake the hell up. If not y'all, what I'm just saying, because I know y'all, yeah, pigs in a goddamn blanket, girl. That's exactly what the hell it was. But I'm just saying, you know, you, 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 straddler. Let me take y'all back to Straddler. See, because most Straddlers, they don't like to lose friends. Because if they lose home and love or friendship, shit, yeah, they have nowhere to go to insert themselves in bullshit that they like to be in. Because they have nothing else to fucking do. Nothing. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing all fucking day, even though they tell you that they do. They ain't got shit to do. A straddler cannot lose people. If it was so goddamn sincere, so sincere, Scooby-Doo is my goddamn boy, and I'm a ride or die, you know, with saying, I'm telling you, I should just turn the goddamn page in the book. You'll see the same picture. But if Scooby-Doo was my boy, and I'm riding or die with him, ain't no way in the hell that I'm finna sit up here and listen to how Cuzzo cousin then sat up here allegedly and got his ass arrested what you do that for nigga 
Oh man, they you know how they was only on the channel just talking shit or whatever. I uh -uh, didn't get belligerent with him. Didn't get none of that stuff. Even though you don't have to, and I understand that. But I, I right then I'd have been in, in a semi hyperventilating, huh? You did what? Who? What? What? Not even knowing that. Wait a minute. You 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 did this to him. Ooh, I got to move around. Shit, if you could do this shit to him, nigga, you, you would do this shit to anybody. But no, nah, it was all just giggles. That's all I heard, just giggles. The boy locked up. My boy, I love him. Laughing the ass off at the shit that the cousin was, was, was uh, regurgitating that it was found funny. And I'm sitting here going, man, if I, why am, why? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you got about 30 minutes of wasted time that you can actually, you know, waste it on. So, okay, then I got to go. But I'm so, man, y'all, man. But Cousin Levi, this is my part two. Ain't nobody came out here to keep up no shit about attacking anybody. You guys became what 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 they said that you guys are all over there a uh, social media uh, uh, important people. You guys are public figures, so it's no difference than talking about somebody that was on the news or or you, you know on, on on a game show or or the sports show or whatever. You guys wanted to be public figures. I'm not out here to to tear down uh, people livelihoods or send a gun threat or or nothing. That's that's out my league. I'm too grown for that shit. I don't have to do that. I took y'all stories and I wrote down my who, what, when, where, and why's. Found a little interest in it. I did. Really, it wasn't even y'all. I was having fun kicking out drunken Larry shit and book him shit. That was the shit there. Y'all shit is actually fucking boring to me and over fucking processed. It's just over, just, just done. When I see people that is constantly just reaching and reaching and reaching to flip stories and, and make things all of a sudden about them, I have no fucking interest in that shit. None. None at all. None, absolutely fucking none. You're not funny to me. None of you guys are. None. Not even the, the uh, hackling one. Mm -mm. Not even her. Not at all. She's an inserter. There's nothing for her to fucking do but sit over there and premeditate on what the fuck she finna do after an hour of a fucking nap. There's a fuck about that. That's it. That's all. You fuck about that shit. Wish I would waste and throw my life my life that has prospered off of y'all shit are you out your goddamn man but i talk about what you guys talk about the who what when where's and why's is this just like y'all do just like y'all do it may not be as logical as you guys expect for it to be but understand that pat can have any type of logical conversation that she chooses to, to do so when she's ready to do so. I chose to not do it around you people because you all technically disgusts me, period. All of you guys on that, y'all disgust the shit out of me. The shit out of me looking at you got black damn people trying to be so goddamn rele relevant in this goddamn shit when it just really wasn't about you guys. The man obtained attorneys. He did. The man obtained attorneys. You try to make it seem as if this is all he got right here. Shout out to the Facebook uh, chaos group over there. Because when I say, and I think it's up under Nina Simone, when they kicking ass over there delivering information, positive shit, yeah, I be over there. Just, just watching them do nothing but positivity on this man. No arguments. Ain't nobody trying to be better than nobody. Ain't nobody over there judging nobody or nothing. All positivity on, on her Facebook uh, a group over there, which, which has, by the way, Cousin Levi, uh, thousands of goddamn people following her. 
So, yeah, so understand that I don't have to sit over here and a lot of other people don't thinking that this is the only R. Kelly uh, submarine that's going on for him. No, this is the only messy ass sub submarine ship over here underneath the umbrella of trying to advocate or uh, keep Kells down fucking bullshit over here. And Pap don't sit her ass in bullshit all day because eventually it will start to stink and attract more flies like you damn people. Period. All y'all been doing is bouncing from one person to the next. One person to the next. And the funny thing though about that though shit though, uh, Cousin Levi, it's all the same damn people. So that's a red damn flag right there. It's a red flag to have the back and forth and, and, and uh, going in the circles with the same damn people, the same damn inserters. If it ain't switched out by now, you best to believe something is wrong. Definitely freaking wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. But, you know, it is what it is. So charge it to my goddamn heart, not my goddamn channel. Because if I see it and I want to talk about it in my opinionated, fashionable, freaking type of way, then it is what it is. I have not never came in between or, or anything of what you guys do on your side of the streets over there at all. Talk your shit. If you really want to know the truth about Pap, I wouldn't have gave a damn, a damn. Because if people cannot see and hear and think for themselves, let me, I wish I could find when I come, I'm going to come live so we could put up the uh, uh, Tim White um, video where you guys can actually hear this boy where the bookums talk about this damn event bright thing. I put it up in DJ's channel. Yeah. So I had to go look this shit up. Event bright. Technically, that's a third party. Kind of like a pro pro uh, a promotion type thing, right? Where you can act like you're selling some type of tickets through you. You build a different event. And the other event that came along ended up being not just uh, 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 the defense fund. It, it was a third party name that came aboard. Then they called it the dollar for the king. They laid all that shit out for you. Now, I don't get too much and I don't like to talk about the money thing because I knew not to goddamn support shit that had a third damn party on it. Claiming that it's all linked to this goddamn PayPal. But if you go and do your homework on this goddamn event, bright, it, it will tell you, watch out for the goddamn scams. And since that was the, 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 um, 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 what do you call it? The um, ticket thing or what the, the sponsor thing or whatever that I heard that name come out of Bookham's mouth. Oh, I was, I, oh, hell no, because you can't find it. You ain't getting your money back. It is what it is. But, I, you know, I guess the question is now is to ask or, or if, you, if you interested, because I'm not. Well, how the hell did they link the ev Eventbrite up? to the PayPal thing. It can be done, but why did it need it to be done if all monies was set up through just a PayPal to go to Doug Anton? What the hell need another goddamn Eventbrite? Eventbrite got talked about when this goddamn dollar for the king came up. But I didn't come out here, Cousin Levi, to shit or do nothing on it. This is my first time kind of really ever speaking, or maybe second, maybe the third. I might have laughed at some shit or whatever, right? Keep it, keep it real, you know, about that goddamn shit. But I never gave two fucks about something because my mom always told me never give shit about something that you don't involve yourself in. And I knew I wasn't putting my fucking money up in that and my hard working ass fucking dollar money that I done worked my ass off for. I wish the hell that I would, period. I'm not stopping y'all flow. Do what y'all do. I don't care. My mind, my head is on straight. I, it, it's not reversed. I don't walk forward looking backwards at all. I know the, ju do, uh, the judicial processing system. I know how all the shit works. The SOLs. Yeah. All of it. I made a choice and a wise choice I did make. Ain't no need to do it out here on these streets because you're out here in the circumference of goddamn demons, devilish, self-gratifying as people. Pap, don't fuck with them type of people. Never, never will I do so.
at all. Anyways, I got to go, y'all. But that's not my style. And most of you guys know that. I ain't out here to be goddamn coming at the people. What the hell do I have? What, what, what reason would I have to come after some damn body on some goddamn YouTube? On what? On what grounds, Cousin Levi? On what grounds? I didn't listen to your goddamn commentary like that back there because uh, it was too much goddamn preaching going on. I didn't want to sit around and watch uh, fucking preaching. I didn't want to hear that shit. So I didn't watch that shit. Sing while you talk. Whistle while you work. I didn't want to hear that shit. And I had that choice. So half of your shit, I really don't know. So you can recant that goddamn lie that you said and come after people. I opinionate on what people say, and I make it comical. I'm not going to take nothing out. I'm not going to put nothing in. It may not be freaking verbatim. It wasn't verbatim. Coming after you would be in the same way of what you're claiming uh, about Scooby-Doo that you claim that you just had him locked up or some shit. The things that he was saying on his channel, not me, because my tongue ain't cut like that. I'm all lady. And the first first rule to being a lady is respect. And I have respect and integrity about myself, period, point blank. So I will talk to you guys later. Y'all could go catch DJ. I'm going to sit here and write my freaking paperwork up. You know, Pat don't be doing no goddamn work, but she does fucking work. I sit over here with this other one over here. Child, child. I'm like, that's a bed sores waiting to fucking happen there. Mm-hmm. That's about it. That's about it. And I'm only quiet because I choose to be quiet. I choose to be quiet. But when I want to talk, I be talking. I be talking. I done watched a whole nother BS goddamn show. I was like, you know, mm, sounds familiar. I be saying that shit. Sounds, sounds really, really familiar. Cool in the motherfucking game. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all have a good day. I will see y'all sometime through the week. Who knows? I might come live again and repeat the same shit that I just said just now. Ain't no fucking links for them or none of that shit. So I got to go. Bye.